So in the last few episodes, we were able to add logic for adding a product cut. But uh, when we add a product cut like this, we have it here. Now that, that means that it's already in our cut array. But when we refresh here, you'll see that we lose it. So we want to add persistency for us to have it even when we refresh the page. And we can make use of the local storage for that. So this is how we will do it. At our handle add product cut, once we add it to cut right here, we can add it also to our local storage. So I'll tab here. We already have the built-in method, which is our local storage dot set item. And we invoke it. And here we pass a key. The key will be maybe eShop cut items. And then we pass a value and we can use JSON dot string file we invoke this one and we pass our updated cut like that so now when we add a product cut we will update this eShop cut items to our updated cut and let's save and test that one out so if i come back right here uh, you can go to more here and click on application and here you'll see we have local storage. We already have all this because uh, of my previous application and I can actually clear and now you should have empty, uh, you, sh you shouldn't have anything. If I happen to refresh my app here, so here we don't have anything, okay? Now here I can select an item, add uh, maybe two of them and then click add to cart. And look, now we have eShop cart items. When I click on this one, you can see more details about it right here and we have it added to our uh, local storage but still we need to do more because when we refresh we should be seeing that this product is already in cut so we'll make use of the uh, use effect hook so here i'll say use effect like that i invoke it we pass an arrow function and here we pass a dependency array now right here we will get the items that are in our cart whenever we refresh the page. So here I can say const and we can say cart items. We can say it's of type any and I'll set it to be equal to local storage dot get item and we invoke this and here we will get our eShop cart items and this key must be the same as this one. Okay. So if you mess even a single letter, then you won't get your items. And then um, right here, I'll now say our uh, cut products uh, will be, remember this is a JSON string. That's why I just included type any. But now here we can define the type for our cut products here. And actually I can say const, const cut products of cut product type cut product type and make sure that it's an array or it can also be null so here it can also be null and we set it equal to now we pass our json string so i'll say json dot pass and we include these cut items there so we pass our cut items right here i invoke that and pass our cut items now we have this cut products and we can now use it to update our state so here we can now say set cut products to be cut products now this cut product is this one right here remember we have this and we have this maybe to remove the confusion you can just say see products here okay now this is this one and let's come back and look whenever i refresh now it's able to get the item from our local storage and show that we already have that item to our cart okay which is awesome so in the next episode i want us to add react hot toast so that we can show some toast messages which is really cool for, for example whenever we add an item to cart remove item from cart we'll be showing some toast messages so i'll see you in the next one